I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is called After Miscarriage, Now What? When Can I Try Again? I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist and miscarriage specialist who's been helping people build families for over 15 years. And this is one of the most common questions I get from my patients. I want you to understand a little bit more about how common miscarriage is, a little bit more about why you're going to hear different things from different doctors about when you can start trying again. And it's very important for you to talk to your doctor and your healthcare team about your personal situation. But I will tell you a little bit about the evidence that we have and hopefully help you learn what questions to ask your doctor so you can help make the right decision for your personal situation. Please like this video if you learn something and comment with questions that you have. I wanna teach you what you want to learn about and subscribe to this channel. I am hoping to help give you the reproductive health education that we all should have gotten and didn't. And I want you to learn more about your own care. In this video afterwards, I want you to know a little bit more about miscarriage. And if you have had a miscarriage, think through the questions that you might want to ask your provider about when to try again. First of all, if you have had a miscarriage and that is why you are watching this video, I am so very sorry. It is a horrible loss. It is just not what we expect, you know, in media and in the movies, it is try often happens pretty quickly. Um, positive pregnancy test, very next scene in the movie is delivering a baby and everybody's happy. And honestly, miscarriage is so much more common than we realize and then we talk about one in four clinically recognized pregnancies end in miscarriage. And if you include even earlier losses, like before you can have an ultrasound, um, that's what clinically recognized pregnancy means. If you include a positive pregnancy test followed by a late period, that's called a biochemical miscarriage. And if you include those, it can be as high as 70 or even more percent. A lot of times people don't even know that they're pregnant because they're not checking pregnancy tests. And that doesn't mean that something is drastically wrong. People just don't realize how inefficient human reproduction is. And that does not make it okay. That does not dismiss the grief and the lost time and the physical and emotional recovery from miscarriage. But I just do really want people to realize that it is, it is so much more common than we realize so that people can stop blaming themselves and stop feeling broken. That's the title of my book on miscarriage. The title is Not Broken, An Approachable Guide to Miscarriage and Recurrent Loss, because I don't want people to blame themselves. The most common cause of miscarriage is something within the embryo, usually a chromosome imbalance, but we are such a big target for ourselves and we wanna figure out what we did wrong. So you can tell I feel very passionately about this. This particular video is trying to help people who've had a miscarriage decide when to try again. Um, but I have a lot more resources here on YouTube as well as on Instagram, um, on my website. Um, I really wanna teach people about their reproductive health. So find me lots of different social media outlets and my book can be found on Amazon. I wanna be very clear about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about trying again after a first trimester miscarriage. About 80% of miscarriages or pregnancy losses will occur in the first trimester. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. So if you have had a pregnancy loss in the second trimester, that's after 13 plus weeks um, or the third trimester, please talk to your healthcare provider about your personal situation and when you should try again. Also, if you have had an ectopic pregnancy treated medically or even surgically, um, if you've been treated for a molar pregnancy, the recommendations are gonna be very different for your personal situation. Um, and that's not what this video is about. So make sure you talk to your doctor about what's right for you. I am talking about a first trimester miscarriage, sometimes called spontaneous abortion um, in your medical chart. Um, that is the medical term for it. Um, miscarriage, pregnancy loss. I know we use these terms interchangeably, um, but I am talking about recovering from a first trimester miscarriage. So when can you try again? Don't be surprised if you hear five different things from five different healthcare providers because there is not 
clear guidelines or clear evidence on when it is okay to try. One thing to think about before you start trying is you need to make sure that the pregnancy is completely resolved. So what I mean is sometimes people can have very heavy bleeding and cramping and just be convinced that everything is out of their body, but you do a follow-up ultrasound and you can actually see some retained products or um, something that might need to be evacuated with a simple procedure called a dilation and curatage. It's un common. It's not, it doesn't happen a lot, but it's just really kind of want to make sure that the pregnancy is resolved. Another way is um, without ultrasound is um, to actually follow the pregnancy hormone levels um, down to um, like less than five is considered negative in our uh, lab in-house, but just, you know, really making sure that the pregnancy is completely resolved. The miscarriage is, is completely resolved. You've recovered physically from the loss before you actively start to try again. The really important thing, of course, is your mental health and your emotional recovery. So that is very personal and you would work with your healthcare team, your partner, if you have one therapist, if you have one and kind of really think through what is right for you, do you need some more space to heal emotionally before you try again? But if the pregnancy is completely resolved and you're emotionally ready to start trying again, then what does the evidence say? And I heard so many different things in my medical training, whether it was medical school at Wake Forest University, residency at UCSF or fellowship at Stanford, a lot of attendings would say different things because there's not incredibly great solid evidence on exactly what to suggest to each patient. And so I heard anything from, oh, they can start trying right away to maybe they should wait three to six months before they start trying again. Let me tell you, if you are ready to be a parent and you are trying to build your family, waiting three to six months can be torture. So somebody ha had better have a really good reason as to why they would ask somebody to wait that long. And so if you hear that from your provider, please say, hey, why are you recommending that in my particular case and they might have a very good reason for you but most first trimester miscarriages that are completely resolved you do not need to wait that long so that's what i heard from attendings the american board of obstetricians and gynecologists in the united states says in general to wait about one to two weeks after a miscarriage to have intercourse mainly to give the body a little bit of time to heal and also when the cervix is open you might be a little bit more prone and susceptible to infections with intercourse so that's really the best data that we have is kind of recommendations or understanding. I can tell you what I tell my patients, the vast majority of the time, if the pregnancy is completely resolved and they're emotionally ready to start trying, I do recommend not trying to actively try until they get a period after the miscarriage. So again, miscarriage, pregnancy resolved, ovulation, period, and then trying. And that's just for a lot of reasons, it gives the body a little bit of time to kind of reset. There are absolutely people that get pregnant with the very first ovulation after a miscarriage, and then they don't get a period um, and they deliver a baby. So I'm not saying that you have to wait, again, talk to your doctor, but if you are not getting a period and it's been six to eight weeks after your miscarriage, if there's any chance you could possibly be pregnant, you should do a pregnancy test and call your doctor if it's positive. Um, also call your doctor if you aren't getting your period by six to eight weeks after your miscarriage, because you wanna make sure that everything is okay and that the pregnancy is fully resolved and just get your questions answered. I hope the information in this video was helpful. Um, if you have had a miscarriage and you're watching this video because you're trying to figure out when to try again, I just want to say one more time, I'm so very sorry for your loss. It is not your fault and you find the support that you need. I hope in this video, you've learned a little bit about what to expect after a miscarriage, ways to figure out and make sure that you're healed from miscarriage and that the pregnancy is resolved and think through ways and the evidence surrounding when to try again. The best answer is to really talk to your medical team about your personal situation and get the best recommendation from your doctor. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.